welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a flip through of some happy mail I received from T over at T's World of Coloring. Um, she had snuck this into the mail and I was super excited. Um, this is by no means a new book. It's actually been out for a really long time. Um, I had gotten Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween book uh, last year. And then I had discovered Her Mermaids and Alice in Wonderland, but I didn't buy them because I was just like, oh, I'm not spending that money. <laughs> um, so she surprised me with the Mermaids one from JBG, as we like to call her. So I wanted to show you guys that, and I'll do a flip through. I always keep the notes inside the books so that I can always remember who gave them to me. Rarely do I forget, but you know, <laughs> my brain. <laughs> Um, so these books are expensive, but they are incredibly well made. So when I had ordered that Halloween one, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm paying that much. And then once it came, I was just like, okay, I can see why it has good paper. This is not create space paper. Now it is a little thinner and has a little rougher texture than Johanna Basford. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's not as thick. It has a awesome dust cover that comes off. I mean, it's a well-made book. So in this one, um, you always get a letter or introduction from Jasmine, the artist. And then here we go. So each image has an explanation of what it is. One, you'll get the name, but these are actually paintings and artwork that Jasmine Beckett Griffith has. Like you can actually look up the artwork for this if you want to mimic it. So this is soft shell. This is in the abyss. Let me turn it so you guys can see. Seashell princess. She has a very unique style amongst the koi. Like the the big faces and eyes and like the eyes are one thing that's like you know, definitely reminiscent of her style. Big, beautiful eyes. Water elementals. This one's actually really cool. Oh, got another one. <laughs> oh, I like that with the butterflies. Absinthe mermaid. Might have to do a lot of flipping. Swimming with Koi. Stranded. I mean, I have seen these colored so many different ways. Her artwork is so cool. And it's very simple line art. This one's actually really pretty. But, I mean, it's meant for you to kind of go off and do your thing with it. That said, if you don't want to, you can always look up the original paintings and, you know, mimic them. Sometimes I like to do that. Um, instead of doing my own thing, I want to try and, like, match an artist's work. It's one reason I'm starting to look at, like, the Posh books and um, Forest Girl. Because it's kind of fun sometimes to try and make it look like the artist. Like, it's good practice in a way. I've seen this one done a few times, and it always comes out gorgeous. Yeah, it is a nice thick paper. It's different, though, than what you're used to in books. And, I mean, there are a ton of images in here. And the nice thing is, this is perfect for fall, actually, the Autumn Mermaid. Ooh, I might add that to my fall list. Um, the perfect thing is with these, they're one-sided. Yeah, I mean, you got the text on this side, but that means you can use markers if you want or, you know, inks and not worry about ruining the picture on the other side. That's a cool one. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. I like how these uh, fish resemble butterflies and... This one I've seen done a few times. It's very cool art. Her Halloween one is super fun. Like I'll be coloring in that this month. Super excited. 
I like that one too. I think you can actually buy her art books, like the actual art books. That's cool. Um, on Amazon. I swear I saw them when I was looking one time. Oh, that would be good for Mother's Day. More landscape. Every time I like preemptively turn it is when <laughs> we come across one. But yeah, there are a ton of images in here. So, I mean, there's a reason these books aren't cheap. However, I was told that they used to be a lot cheaper. So I was like, oh, I missed the boat on that. I think all I have left now is her Alice in Wonderland one. Because I think she only has the three. The Halloween, the mermaids here, and then the Alice in Wonderland, I think, are the three she has. I could be wrong. If there's more floating out there, definitely let me know. I've seen that one done a few times. Sorry if my hand's in the way. I just, the spine is hard. So this, actually, you can see it right here, is sewn. So it's not glued, it's a sewn spine. That's cute. I really do love the big eyes. Like, if you're afraid of coloring eyes, Jasmine Beckett's work is, like, the way to go. <laughs> You'll get over that fear real fast because you're coloring one heck of an eye. I've seen that one done a few times, too. Oh, this one I've seen done a few times. But it's very loose line art. I mean, you got to use your creativity to fill it, but still, it's so fun. That's cute. Oh, sometimes she does these split ones, like her Halloween has some split ones. They can be kind of fun to do, though. They're a little quicker, easier images to belt out, you know? I've seen that one done a few times, actually. And that's it. Oh, you know what? That's right, the fairies one. So I, I'm wrong. There's four of them. Because uh, I have the Halloween one. And so the fairies one and... Um, the Alice in Wonderland one are the ones I still have. But see, it has this nice little dust dust jacket thing that you can take off if you want. Um, you can even see kind of a, oops, now it doesn't want to close. Now you can kind of see a little sneak peek of like how these images are done. But yeah, that is JBG's Mermaid's Coloring Book. I'm super excited to color in this one. And thank you guys for checking out the images with me. Until next time, take care.